Twitch up. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Tio here, and we are here at the exchange. I'm trying something different with the camera angles here, you know, just so my hands aren't as, you know, shaky. We're here in front of the PS2 sections because, you know, I've been on the hunt for some Star Trek encounters, and I really wonder if they have it, so, you know, let's take a look here. We're here conveniently placed in front of the S's. They, they have it. Five, five bucks? I, don't even tell me it's complete. Don't even tell me it's complete! Oh my god, it's complete. Um, that's a great game. That's a great game. RGP! <gasps> In the house! Oh my goodness gracious. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, holding it down. What's going on, man? How are you doing? Oh, not bad, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. You're doing a lot better now that you got a little Star Trek encounter. Oh my game. gosh, yes. Look at that. Tell Look us more. Tell them more about this game. This, okay, this. I've heard it's not a great game, but I'm a big Star Trek fan, and it was complete in the box, right? Yeah. I mean... Worthwhile score. Yes. And, and, and I've also heard that to be a real man, this is a game you must have in your collection. Yes. So I would definitely pick this up. I would. I have to now. It's OGP certified. There you go. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to try and trade SWAT that, um, what's it called game? So I'm gonna try and get him to trade me straight up for a Mega Man. So we'll see. We'll see. But yes, for real, OGP is in the house here. He's going yeah. cross country to uh, get his bird with his family. You know, he yeah. decided to stop right. here. Yeah, I had to come by and see my man Tio. Thank you. There you go. It's a complete honor. So, yeah, so, yeah we are actually, you know, for real here at the exchange. So we're gonna, you know, look around, you know, find some games. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a look. The only problem here is it's hard not to start splurging. <laughs> Yes. Oh well. Look at all. I mean, look at all these. It's, I know. Got a ton of games. And yes. And I mean, you know, they're they're pretty fairly priced. They're yeah. Pretty fairly priced. And then, but the nice thing is, all the labels look like they're in good shape. It doesn't look like. Oh yeah. The, some of these garbage. SNES games are, meh, give or take. But yeah. that's what SNES labels look like half the time, anyways. Yeah. Which yeah. is really unfortunate. Uh wait. I think Superman's only like ten bucks, actually. The the horrible N sixty four Superman. Mm. I've been actually eyeing that up for a while. Wait, is that that's Mario 64? For 55 bucks complete, that that's not bad. That's honestly not yeah, bad. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a what a 25 dollar game as it is, but then with the box, I mean that's. I'd say the right on the money or a bit under. So now these aren't all going to be 55, are they? No, no, it varies per. Yeah, go see the Spider-Man here. Hey, Leia. Ah. Yeah, this here's the OGP. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Give the man a hug. Nice to meet you. Oh. Hey. Yep, my girlfriend, Leia. It's very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too. We uh, found some Star Trek encounters over I here. I know. It's I fun. can't believe. In the, yeah. It's a rare game, so it's pretty amazing to find it. I it's a very I completely game. agree with you. Yes. You gotta get some Star Trek encounters in your life, Leia. Uh, yeah, definitely. Is it also, is it the same for women to become a real woman? If they have Star Trek, or is it just for men? You know what, you know, I've never known a woman to own a copy of Star Trek encounters. You could be the first. I could be the first. Could be. You very much could be. Yeah, you, you have a couple copies now. Yeah. So. They're all mine, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like he's she, she's on her own. She's on her own. I'm lucky for my birthday. He gives me like one thing out of his collection. Uh. <laughs> one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, last time was two. My that's, yeah, it was two that's, last that's time. That's why when you find good deals, you buy duplicates so you can <laughs> trade them away trade or just away be or like here. Off and stuff. Yeah. So here yeah. you go. But I'm honestly gonna check out some of these box games. You know, might as well. Excuse me. Do you mind opening up the N64 box case here? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna take a gander. Wow, this box is actually in fair shape for. Am I going crazy or did they move the store around? Yeah, they always seem to be moving the store. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, Doctor Mar oh, Doctor Mario there for thirty. Else there you today. go. That's I, not I don't bad. know what, what's uh, what's Doctor Mario on its own. I have no idea. Oh, this was originally ten. Now it's fifteen. Such a bad game. <laughs> oh, is this is this. This is fifteen bucks in the box. Yeah. It's like about a three dollar game by itself. I know it was ten bucks before. Like I was really tempted, but then again, it was like. I mean, to have a box, 
yeah, I don't know. There was a lot at that that store in L.A. that I found. Um, you know where I found all those those uh, uh, the dollar box games, really cheap dollar, games. Yeah. 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 Um, I ended up splurging. <laughs> I mean, I left a lot of them just because they were crap titles. Yeah. I mean, they were mostly sports titles that I left, but um, you know, if they were. Like, you know, even halfway decent titles, I would yeah. scoop them all up. Those are evil too, huh? Some poor sap went there the week after me and was like... All wiped out? Yeah. Oh. He was complaining about the games, the quality. I was like, oh, there was a reason I left what I left. Yeah. <laughs> when when you're getting when you're getting boxed, you know, Super Nintendo and boxed N64 games for two fifty a piece. Wait, there were... Wait... I don't think I was. I don't think I actually saw that episode. I saw the one after that. I saw the Dreamcast one. But what N64 okay, games yeah, no, you get? So the one before that. Um, oh man, I can't remember. It was. It was I went out with a box, uh, a stack of. Oh my games gosh. Like, like two fifty a piece. That is. So. Hey. You're gonna record every word he says. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. I think he's excited. <laughs> hey, you're the one who's saying you weren't gonna be able to speak. Well, you know. You're speaking. Uh, yes, actually. Thank you. Unless yeah, you want anything. No, 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 Hey guys, um, before we get to the actual pickups that I recorded there with OGP and Leia, um, I forgot to actually mention this whenever I was doing that, and I don't know why I didn't, but I did. So, um, when I actually first met Phil when we first arrived at the exchange, uh, he gave me a couple gifts, and it was I really appreciated him doing this, and he didn't have to. I unfortunately didn't bring anything in return, which I felt like an idiot afterwards, but nonetheless, it's much appreciated that he gave me this stuff. And the first and most important thing is that he gave me a signed copy of Star Trek Encounters. And if you are a follower of OGP and the Global Hunters, then you would know that Star Trek Encounters is a serious thing. And he sign he signed it, he signatured it, I was going to say that. He signed it saying, thanks for watching, with OGP. Hopefully you can see that signature, hopefully that works, but just take my word on it, if not. And also, since he knows I'm going for a Dreamcast collection, and I love the Dreamcast, my cat is just coming down the stairs doing her thing. Anyways, um, he decided to um, give me a Dreamcast game, and that was Star Wars Episode One Racer. This is the game that I can find anywhere on the Nintendo 64, but I, this is the first I've ever seen on the Dreamcast, and it's complete in good shape, so... Huge thank you to Phil or OGP, whatever you want to call him, for that. Along with those two gifts, um, I actually got something else signed by... Phil OGP, whatever you want to refer to him as, but um, this is actually a continuation from episode 24. I was at Trader Jack's and I went to the inside part where there's the guy in there that I despise, and still do, but um, yeah, I was looking through his stuff because I was already done with the outside portion and I was going through the PS2 section, just, you know, out of random, and I ended up finding my own personal copy of Star Trek Encounters for five bucks, and when I actually brought this to Phil, he's like, I showed him it, he's like, you weren't supposed to get this, like, four days before I met you, because he, he planned on giving me the autographed version of this one anyways, so he's like, you weren't supposed to get this beforehand, but I'm like, the way things worked out, so, um, that happened, so I ended up bringing this, because I wanted to get it signed, and I didn't know he was giving me a signed one, it was one of those kind of, like, this, this is a really weird coincidence things, I guess, but so... I ended up giving him my copy, and he gave a personal autograph on it, and I really appreciate him doing this, and I'm going to definitely hold this high in my collection, because getting an, an autograph from a YouTuber, especially, like, one that you're friends with, is, it, it's really cool. It's a really cool thing. And it says, Tio, thanks for watching. Keep up the great work on your channel. Signed, OGP. Hopefully, you can see that once more, but honestly, this is such an awesome thing, and I just really appreciate that he did this. And as well as the two gifts, it's it was very appreciated, man. So yeah, that's what I forgot to mention at the exchange with Phil. So speaking of the exchange, we're gonna get out of my basement and we're gonna head back to the exchange. So here we are. We just got done at the exchange. Yeah, I didn't pick anything up, uh, and they have lots of great games in there, but uh, I just didn't see anything. There, well, there was a Star Trek yes. Encounters in there, but. Uh, Somebody, I think somebody snatched it before I could get to it. I think that's what happened. Probably. 
Yeah. But anyways, we're here in the sketchy little back alley pickup, so we got some back alley pickups going on right That's now. The one, yeah. So let's see, what'd you get today? I got four things. I've been on a little bit of a splurging spree here. Uh, you mean uh, like every time you go game? <laughs> That's what it seems like. I, it I watch your videos. That's what it seems you like. You don't go with him every week. Every week he comes home. I have to carry in over <laughs> 15 bags. Nice, but I get it for nice, good prices. Nice. Uh, here I splurge yeah. sometimes, and I did. You I, did. I have all right to for this one pick up at least. This was 250 for the Sega CD. We got Joe Montana's NFL football. It is complete, nice, nice. but it's missing the uh, the. Uh, Missing the, the, uh, foam. the foam insert, that's the one. It's not the end of the world. Hey, you can always find those anywhere. Yeah. And next, we go for the Sega Saturn since this is my, this is my console. Ooh. Ever since I got this, I've been so thrilled with it. You know, I've, I learned like four games from it. Thank you to Connor, you're probably watching this on both of our channels. So, yeah, thank you for sending over those games. I really appreciate that. And for five bucks, I picked up NBA Jam Extreme. Nice. Ah, the Seattle nice. Supersonics. I don't know why he's a bandit on his face. That's concerning, but oh well. Yeah, five likes not a bad price for no, Saturday. Not at all. I don't think so. Missing the uh, foam insert again. I'm just gonna grow my Saturn collection very slowly because it's a very pricey console. Incredible pricey. I don't. I, I rarely see Saturn games when I'm out. I rarely see Saturn. It'll be a Vanna White. There you go. There you go. And then there's my receipt. Not really interesting. But then I picked up two Dreamcast games that I spent 20 bucks total, not a piece. That'd be ridiculous, but total. First one here, I didn't have it, so why not? It was five bucks. Sydney 2000. I assume, yeah, this is for the I say Summer Olympics, whatever this was. Oh, yeah, Sydney, it's gotta be summer. Uh, oh, yeah, we got, swimming, yeah, swimming. yeah, we got all yeah, these yeah, swimming yeah. hurdles. Check that out. I don't know what kind of weight room that guy's working out in, but you know. <laughs> Maybe cool. you should go there. You know, next Sydney. Where you go awesome. hang out with the... Uh, We'll stay out of my house. Go, go hang out down there. Yeah. Go meet Peter. Go work out. Yeah. <laughs> this. Go, go, go hang out with Peter Smith. <laughs> All right. Now this one. This one is ridiculous. Fifteen bucks for this. You know, I looked at them like fifteen bucks. Eh, it's Dreamcast game. Fifteen bucks. My budget. All right. Yeah. But I looked inside of the box. Perfect condition. Not even lying to you. Alien front online. And if I can get this thing open here on camera, hey, don't break the box. Don't wanna, don't, don't rip oh, the box. Yeah, watching your, watching your value just go. Yeah, I kind of dented a little bit here, but yeah, it's right. anyways. Yeah, yeah, you're not buying it to sell it, so. Factory. Yeah, look at seal. that. Look at that. Like. Very nice. And then, you can see here. If it wants to come out, come on. So how's that? Yeah. How's that? How's that uh, microphone in there? Is that what you're pulling out right now? Yep. There is a microphone in here too for online compatibility. Nice. There's nice. the base of the microphone in its bag. Sweet. We got here, if it wants to come out, come on, sir. The oh, mic yeah. adapter. And then my favorite part of it all, oh, it's just the ball. A little foamy foam foam. In this box, you're having a great Struggling time. Here. Struggling. Hopefully, the box doesn't like this too much. Oh, but there yeah. it is. Little there it foam is. Ball with the Microphone instructiones. No, is it sad? That's I would ridiculous. Laugh if you just everything right <laughs> oh, I would, I would too. I would too. I would. That would be so sad. <laughs> totally hilarious. But for 15 bucks, a sealed Dreamcast game. No, yeah. Box. Yeah. These. There's yeah. only two of these. You got this one, and then you got the ever glorious Seaman, which my man here got for how much? Uh, that would have been five dollars. Five dollars. Been five dollars. It didn't have the box though. It didn't have the box. But he did have the microphone, so the five bucks for five that's bucks. That's a steal. I think you pick it up for five bucks. I think yes, you do. Yes, you do. do. And so that's all I got. Now was about twenty-nine bucks, give or take. So I'm that's okay with this little splurge here. You know, yeah. Yeah. do what you got to do to get these awesome games. This sealed games. Oh yeah. Can't go if wrong. If the box was sealed, that would be uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, box is in fabulous shape. Game is sealed. Probably gonna leave it that way since online oh, yeah. is no more. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. All right, guys, that is it for me here. Uh, you know, it was an honor to meet OGP here. Complete honor. You know, he trekked yeah, Star Trek. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. He came all the way from California. You know, he's going out with going out. You know, to Gettysburg. You know. It, it didn't take too long. I flew over on the OG prize. 
Yes. It didn't take all that long. That's why you Warp you're speed. So Warp speed. Got it. Snap the finger. It's over in the parking lot, but it's too exclusive for you to yeah. see it. Well, I it's in the skies. It's a dumpster diving driving machine. Yes. It's yes. cloaked. It's cloaked. It must have snuck up away from us then, Mom. Yeah. We parked it here. <laughs> went to go scout out some dumpsters. So, like I said, that's it for me. You know, I'm here with Leia, obviously. You know. As always. Yeah, you hear every video, there. you don't see me, ever. <laughs> That's very true, and obviously, the man himself, no GP. Thank you guys so much for watching, you know. I will talk to you guys next time. See ya!